If you're using ClickUp to manage your projects, understanding and optimizing your team's workload is absolutely essential. In this video, we're gonna explore ClickUp's workload view, how it works, why it matters, and how you can use it to better allocate resources across your team. The workload view isn't just about assigning tasks, it's really more so to make sure that your team isn't overwhelmed or underutilized. It's also so that you can understand each individual person's capacity as well. ClickUp's workload views gives you a real-time visibility into who's doing what when. So you, you have the ability to plan smarter, avoid bottlenecks, and keep your project and your team on track. So let's go ahead and let's create a workload view. You can navigate to your workspace in ClickUp. You can really create the workload view in a space, a folder, a list. Primarily, I'm gonna create it in a, in a list, and I usually create them in lists, to be honest, unless I have multiple projects across and living within a single folder. So let's go ahead and click on plus view. And all we have to do is select workload. You can rename this workload to whatever you like. You can name it team capacity or anything like that. And you go ahead and hit enter. And pretty much your workload view is created. So let's talk about this view and what are we looking at here? So first you can see you have your measurement here. You have your time period and you have whether it's a daily schedule or availability and things like that. These are all fairly new here, all right? Let's talk about the time period first. So the day view is actually great to see week by week, day by day, what's going on across your team. The week view will let you see every single week stacked up against each other and who's at what capacity, essentially. And then finally, the month view allows you to see the capacity of that person per month. You can literally see how much time they have scheduled versus how much they have remaining in capacity. Now let's talk about the measurement. I personally like to keep this in day view. You have three different measurements here. You have tasks, which is looking at the number of tasks assigned. This is good for more uniform work. You have time estimates, which is great for granularity and it's based on how long a task will take. It's really good for teams who have tasks with varied complexity. And then finally you have sprint points. This is for agile or scrum based teams where it's more, you're more so looking at an effort rather than a time estimate here. All right. Now here on the view, you can see the assignees. You can also see the unscheduled tasks here as well. Now what's really nice about this is you don't even need to group by assignees. You can group by teams, status, priority, or even custom fields. So here's my grouping. And as you can see, I have different groupings that I can utilize. I can say priority, I can say tags, I can say my project phase, let's say. So you can see the capacity across each phase, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and change this back to assignee here. Now, a couple of tips. As you can see, I can see my projects or my tasks assigned to the user across the week. If I go to my list view here for my all my projects, I'm utilizing the start and due date. Make sure that every task has both a start and due date. This will help ClickUp spread the task over multiple days, giving you a more accurate picture of your team's view or how your team is being used. If you just use due date, you can still use the workload view. The task will just show up on a single square for that specific date on that day, all right? And you can use this to see how much is on your team's plate and how much time is expected to take. So as an example, going back to our workload view, I have myself here and I can see that I have eight hours scheduled every day of this current week. And the next week, I'm actually over capacity here, as you can see. However, this person, Shafa, is available and she's under capacity. Let's set our weekly capacity as well. So weekly capacity, again, since we're using time estimates, we're gonna be allotting a weekly capacity in hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just input 50 hours and apply that to all of my users here. And all of my users now have a weekly capacity. You can adjust things for like part-time schedules. You can make one person have 20 hours versus the other person having 50 hours or 40 hours a week as well. What's also really nice about this view is you can see your unassigned tasks, as you can see, and on the same calendar. So as an example, if I'm grooming my backlog, project two is not assigned 
And let's see if I go into this, what's the time estimate? Time estimate of 30 hours and the dates are from today to June 6th. So looking at this, I can see my team's capacity and who can take on this project. You'll also notice that there's unscheduled project tasks here as well. This means that this project has no set start or due date. However, this project does, and I can go ahead and assign it out. So let me go ahead and review these individuals and see who I can assign it to. All right, I see that Shafa has a pretty good and open schedule for the next couple of weeks. Let me go ahead and assign project two to her. Now that it's assigned, you can see that her workload capacity has updated and you can see how much is remaining versus scheduled as well. So this is pretty much how you can groom your backlog actively and assign out tasks or even projects and work. Same goes for unscheduled tasks. Let's say you have a project that's in the pipeline, but you're not sure if you're ready to start on it. You can now use the workload view and groom your backlog and add tasks, set time estimates, and move them in to the relevant person's view. Now, there are a lot of use cases for ClickUp's workload view. For marketing teams, as an example, you can track campaign timelines, balance work across content, design, and even manage different operations teams just to make sure that launches aren't overwhelmed. As well as product teams, you can see who's maxed out during sprints, let's say, or who has room to take on a bug or QA, a certain development project. If you're doing like general ops and admin work, you can monitor recurring tasks, new initiatives, and cross-functional workload. Kind of similar to this example that we just went through here. The other item that I want to touch on is grouping. So like I mentioned, we are currently grouping by assignee. Now what's a really cool feature is you have ability to group by custom fields. So what I went ahead and did was for my projects, I created this team field and I have my sales team, I have IT, let me just go ahead and put just random teams here, marketing, sales, IT, and that should be good. And now I can go to my workload view and I can, instead of grouping by assignee, I can group by my team dropdown and I can see across the board how my sales team is, what their workload looks like, what their how, how their tasks are spread across to them versus the IT team as an example here. So here you can see what the different teams and what their workload looks like. So here's sales, you can see the different projects that are assigned to them and how spread or what their resources and scheduled activities look like versus the IT team as an example. So this grouping can be used not only for just a team, but it can be used by other things. As I mentioned before, I have a phase so I can see what phases of our project are more stacked versus the end stages as an example or end phases I should say and the examples can continue on and on however I do recommend initially if you're getting used to this just use it for the assignee view you can totally use this to manage your team's workload and understand team capacity so Managing your team's workload view effectively isn't just like a nice to have, it's really a key to deliver your project on time without burning out your team. And ClickUp's workload view gives you the tools to plan, assign, and balance everything with clarity. So whether you're managing marketing campaigns, product sprints, or client deliverables, this view helps you work smarter and not harder. Try it out, start small, iterate, and you'll be amazed by how much smoother your project planning becomes. All right, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out, add a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please visit us at visually.org if you'd like to use our services. Thank you.